Hi, uh, this is Pranjal, and today uh, I will uh, present the mu uh, musical neural style transfer project along with my team members, Kenneth, Mehek, Thuhin, and Shivam. Image style transfer is conven has conventionally been used to transfer the style of uh, uh, one uh, image into the style of another image or the style of a painting into an image. This was recently popularized by a uh, like a uh, app called Prisma. In images, style usually refers to the different textures or color palettes of an image. And the founding approach that introduced this method used a VGG pre-trained model, pre-trained CNN model to extract features from images. What is style in music and audio? Style in, uh, style in images is relatively easy to identify through the textures or just a look. Like you can look at an image and tell that it's a different, like it has a different style than another image. In audio inputs, however, it's a bit difficult to like classify what the style of a piece of audio is. It could be the timbre of an instrument, like the tempo of the song or even the amplitude. In audio pieces containing, uh, sp containing speech, it could even be the accent of the speaker. So this ambiguity in uh, the style of a piece of audio is one of the reasons I've, as we found out that audio style transfer is a bit uh, difficult to achieve and is not uh, as successful as image style transfer. In order to do, in order to do audio style transfer, we use the similar methods as are done in image style transfer. We converted the audio to a spectrogram and after that we applied the same principles as image style transfer. We defined the content of the music as the notes and the style was ambiguous um, in, in this case because the style can be referred to as the genre of the music or also to the instrumental choice of the music. So for our general method that we took to approach this problem, initially we split each of the pieces of music into our content and style, which was defined as the vocals and background music using splitter. We then uh, extracted each wave, uh, each waveform from the audio file and converted them into spectrograms using Libroso. We define, uh, use the defined content and style features uh, to, uh, sorry, functions for loss. The loss function uh, in general was the sum of both the content and style loss functions. We optimize directly onto the content style uh, uh, content spectrogram and layer the style spectrogram on top of this. We use the convolutional neural network to do so. We then finally uh, converted our resulting spectrogram back into audio to generate our final output. Next slide. Over here, we have a demo prepared for you. So this is basically a website that hosts like our output. Initially, we had planned on letting the users interact with our model and provide their own content and style files. However, as we found out, uh, the conversion takes a lot of time and all, more often than not, the result is uh, a bit uh, garbage, to be honest. And we, so we cherry picked some outputs for you to hear. Here's the style audio. Are you guys able to hear the audio? Oh, you might need to re. Um, okay. Oh, sorry for that. Now. Just a sec. Oh, so here's the style audio. From that and then this is the uh content audio all alone. it's hard to start all over so unprepared 
I guess that's why they call it cheating. And here's our output. All along. It's hard to start all over so unprepared. I guess that's why they call it cheating. Cause it ain't. Uh, so as you can notice at specific points, there are like variations in the pitch and the volume of the speaker and it gets a bit muffled during sometimes which matches up with the style audio, but the result is uh, the result is not very different from the content audio. Uh, over to over to Mahek. As regards to the feature representation, we use one shallow layer of CNN with random filters to extract the features from the content spectrograms and style spectrograms, as opposed to using 2D filters in image style transfer. The biggest difference in our case from the image style transfer is that we use random CNNs over the BGG model because of the reason that the style of audio signals is not really defined well. Uh, next slide, please. So both our style and content loss functions are very similar to the ones that were used for um, image style transfer, because at this point we're operating on like a spectrum which is a similar problem. So uh, the style loss function is the mean squared error between um, the gram matrix for the feature map of the style spectrogram and the gram matrix for the feature map of the spectrogram that we're optimizing directly on. And then because we're taking the gram matrix, this kind of um, the, the mean squared error can get quite high. So we divide it by the number of features in the feature map times like the size, which is also the size of the spectrogram. Um, so we have this graph that's basically showing this is just the style loss over 500 iterations of uh, training. You can see it clearly like, decreases over the 500 uh, iterations. Next slide, please. So the content loss is the mean squared error between just the feature map of the spectrogram we're optimizing and the feature map of the content spectrogram. Uh, and counterintuitively, you can kind of see that the content loss increases over our 500 iterations. Um, and the reason behind that is because our, like we mentioned earlier, the total loss is the sum of the content and style. And since we are um, directly optimizing on the content spectrogram, we, we basically start at a loss of zero. And then as we optimize based off of our total loss, which also cares about the style, will um, change the spectrogram, of course, which will move it up further and further away from the original content spectrogram. Next slide, please. Uh, so, uh, so, far as, uh, so, so far as a result, as we saw in the demo, uh, we saw some changes in the volume and the pitch. Uh, initially, our approach was to use random operation spectrograms, and our output was mostly white noise. Uh, using content spectrogram as a base, uh, in addition, provided such inputs, which was seen in the demo. Uh, our model emphasizes speed over accuracy. Our model takes about 15 minutes to give us the output, uh, whereas other outputs would take about two hours to give you the output. Lastly, our method does not require any pre-training as we try. We are trying to optimize the spectrograms. Uh, yeah. Uh, next slide. Uh, for our future work, uh, we. Uh, we are going to use more filter size. Uh, we use 256 filters. Uh, in the paper, it's mentioned that to use uh, 4096 filters. So that's our next approach. Uh, a method involving uh, cycle grants could, uh, could improve uh, our uh, model a bit more and provide us better results. Uh, audio style transfer has potential applications. Uh, such as changing the voice of a character or uh, even for auto-training or dubbing in the uh, film industry. Uh, next slide. Any questions? Uh, any questions? No. 